morning. It's Monday, August 15th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for the journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, And They Punish the Innocent. And our scripture is Isaiah's Prophecy, chapter 5, where the prophet writes, What sorrow for those who drag their sins behind them with ropes made of lies, who drag wickedness behind them like a cart. They even mock God and say, Hurry up and do something. We want to see what you can do. Let the Holy One of Israel carry out His plan, for we want to know what it is. What sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. What sorrow for those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever. What sorrow for those who are heroes at drinking wine and boast about all the alcohol they can hold. They take bribes to let the wicked go free and they punish the innocent. Isaiah was no stranger to the culture of movers and shakers at the center of Jerusalem's elite. He was prophet in the land of Judah at a time when God's people were led by self-absorbed hedonists who cared little for God or the people they were called to serve. Their primary interest was only focused on the next party in town and the next deal they could swing to fatten their power and bank accounts. The suffering of families in poverty and starvation were not on their agenda. They had business, self-elevating business, to which they must attend. Everything else had to wait, even if it punished the innocent. We have a problem with that these days, and have had that as a problem since the Garden of Eden. Where there are rulers over people, there is corruption and suffering of those ruled. And those who suffer most are those who are the least able to defend themselves. In America, they are located in the womb. Seven weeks ago, June 28, 2022, the Supreme Court issued its decision overturning Roe v. Wade, the 1973 decision that allowed for abortion. In the last half century, millions of babies have died because Americans supported the rights of the woman and men outside the womb as having precedence over the rights of the minor child growing within the womb. The innocent were punished. I applaud SCOTUS for having the courage to say emphatically the court messed it up 50 years ago in political pandering to those who wanted no fetus to interfere with their lifestyle. And making no mistake about who's to blame, the court that made that decision in 1973 was nine men and zero women. The current court, which overturned the death decision of 1973, has six men and three women. Seems a move towards equality has some common sense. For you today, the struggle isn't over. It won't be as long as hearts are selfish and God is ignored. Until then, the innocent will be punished. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.